So g'day, my name's uh, Associate Professor Chris Guppy from the University of New England. I've been doing some research into root systems. And root systems, you might ask, why do we bother? Uh, most of the research that's been going on in a very long time has focused on what is easy to measure, which is the shoot system, the, the leaves above ground, easy to measure, easy to count, easy to see yield response. But what the next revolution in crop production will most likely focus on is how to improve our root systems. And GRDC has funded us to investigate the sensitivity and variation in our cereal varieties and in chickpea varieties in how they respond to patches of phosphorus, sulfur, potassium and nitrogen. The, the reason that has been done is because we really don't have any idea how flexible our root systems are to respond to those nutrients in our farming systems when we're going to come across situations that the nutrients are going to be increasingly distributed in patches, in discrete patches, as we slowly run down our soil fertility and our root systems systematically and repeatedly withdraw nutrients from depths from 10 to 30 to 50 centimetres, uh, what we're going to find is that most of our cropping systems are going to be sucking on the fertiliser that we put there ourselves. Now, identifying which of our varieties are better able to exploit those patches might provide us with the breeding targets that we need to maximise the efficiency with which we recover the fertiliser that we put on. So most of our costs in the farming system are associated with nitrogen and phosphorus and making sure that our, our cropping systems actually recover that most efficiently uh, when we increasingly put it in discrete patches is going to be key to productivity. What have we found? Uh, what we found is that there was considerable variation uh, more than we expected between wheat varieties just in the northern region. We screened 10 wheat varieties and found a fourfold variation in, in how efficiently and effectively those root systems exploited and proliferated in bands. The other information we found was that, as expected, uh, we don't see very much root response to patches of potassium and patches of sulphur. Uh, sulphur is reasonably mobile. It's unsurprising that a root system would not invest a lot of carbon and energy in proliferating and growing lots of roots to acquire a patch of sulphur that they find because it might not be there in two or three weeks time. The interesting finding that we've struggled with throughout this project over the last three years is that we've actually seen very limited proliferation of roots in response to nitrogen. The last 30 years, the assumption would have been that roots proliferate when they encounter ammonium and nitrate. The finding is challenging for us. We're still trying. We're going to continue trying to do that. The, the science seemed to be settled many years ago, but uh, this is why we investigate these things, to see if it really does stand up to scrutiny. Uh, what can we conclude? What's of interest to growers? Uh, when we look at the, the 10 varieties and the five barley varieties that we investigated and the five chickpea varieties, we can identify those varieties that are better adapted to exploit patches of nutrients uh, such as phosphorus. That information can be found uh, on the GRDC update websites. We've presented it there. And we can identify the varieties that are better going to exploit perhaps deep bands of phosphorus in the soil. Uh, the other piece of information that is probably of interest to producers and advisors is that we see very little root proliferation in chickpeas uh, up to about uh, 40 days of age. The, the response of a legume root or a chickpea root to a patch of phosphorus is, is marginal at best. Uh, this might explain why it's quite important to ensure that you plant and place uh, in close proximity because if the chickpea root 
can't proliferate when it accidentally finds that patch of phosphorus, you have to force it to find that patch of phosphorus to recover those nutrients. Uh, if you do have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, I can be contacted at UNE. Just go to the web page and type in my name and you'll find an email address that you can contact me on or you can contact me through uh, Extension Oz.